Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. Today, we're doing smoke, meat, loaf. I love meatloaf. I'd eat it every single day. Meatloaf by itself, meatloaf sandwich, meatloaf for breakfast, meatloaf, meatloaf dessert. Pizza. I like meatloaf. I make my meatloaf a little bit different. Mm, basically the same as everybody else, but maybe just slightly different. I like to use a 50-50 blend meat, pork. About four pounds of beef, four pounds of pork. And we're gonna make some mega loaves. Today. Yeah. We're gonna make two two big boys. At least a couple of two four pounders actually with the veg and everything else. It'll be up there probably five, five pounders. Um, the other thing I like to do in my meatloaf though is I like to add a little bit of veg. I think the veg holds a little bit of the moisture in there, gives it a little bit of a uh, different color when you're eating. It's not texture. just the plain and yeah, nice little texture. So I've already gone ahead, cut up some onion, shredded some carrots. Did you shred those carrots? I uh, Very uniform. I uh, found a guy in the grocery store that did it for me ahead of time. He even put it in the bag. What a nice guy. You know, it was really good, but I did take care of the onions, let me tell you. I like to get those sauteing with a little bit of olive oil. At the end, I put the garlic in there, maybe for a minute or two, get the uh, garlic in there so it doesn't burn. Uh, but caramelize, sweat these things down pretty good. Um, let them cool off a little bit. We'll mix all the meats together with everything else, and we'll show you how to do that. Now, we're using the wet, uh, deodorant today, actually. And we did a test kitchen on this in the Weber Smoky Mountain, came out phenomenal. Yeah. The convenience of the, of the odor is just, I mean, it's unsurpassed, right? Not only that, but um, we had to use charcoal to sweat down these veggies. And now we're gonna actually, we popped out the trap door on the two piece diffuser. I've got to crank up to 400 and there's some serious flame coming out of that port. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat off those vegetables right on the smoker. Yep. And then we'll get it set up for smoking and then we're gonna smoke our, our loaves off. So Chris, let's get, the, let's get it done. All right. Let's get the uh, carrots and the onions in here. Nice drizzle of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. This, this is my wife's thing. Yeah. Yeah, that looks just about right. All right, and so we're gonna pop this up and right onto the flame. Cool. The onions, the carrots, the garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper. It's been going about 15 minutes. This two piece diffuser is like magic. Yeah. This type of thing. You saute right in the smoker. Unbelievable. It smells amazing out here. Let's go. So, and take this off. I'll put it in a bowl here. There, I got that done. And uh, in the bottom of this bowl, got a little bit of ice. So I want to cool this down before I start making the meatloaf. Because we're impatient. Yeah. So. Let this cool down a little bit so it gets right to the temperature. Then we'll form our meatloaves and uh, I'll convert the smoker over in the meantime. We'll be golden. The onions, the carrots, they cooled down. Uh, they smell amazing. Now let's form these bad boys. So got about four pounds of beef. Whoa. And about four pounds of pork. We like our meat. Yeah. A crack. Uh, three eggs hey, where's that other egg three eggs I use what is this seven ounces about two full cups breadcrumbs about a cup of milk good amount of Worcestershire how do you say that? I say Worcestershire. Most people say Worcestershire. That's probably just Worcestershire, but I want to be different. Uh, and I add some ketchup to this. Great American sauce. You'll see the glaze a little bit later, but this, this, is, the moosh -moosh. this is the real moosh moosh. Chris really loves a good moosh. Yeah. 
get in there. Don't overwork it. You don't want it to be too hard, but you want to incorporate everything, you know? So get those carrots and the onions. Johnny, I don't know if we could have put any more meat in this thing. This pulls at capacity. Let's, let's move it off the ice packs because we're yep. kind of walking there. All right. It is a beautiful late May day and um, deceptively hot. Yes. Let me rotate here. Ooh, that's a moosh moosh with a double axle twist. Double axle twist moosh. And we're getting there. And I want to say, beep. You gonna call it? Yeah, one more round of moosh. All right, that's it. We've mooshed. I'm separating it into about 50-50. And this is gonna give us two really big logs, right? So you yeah. can adjust up or down. The full recipe will be in the description box, but right. we'll show you what we did today and you can adjust accordingly. We got a few big people to feed here. All right, so we're gonna form up here, right? Yeah, let me uh, grab half of this bad boy. So I just try to get it into like a regular loaf size, you know, I want to get it so it's sticking together nice, pretty consistent so one side doesn't dry out more than the other. Now it's just smart business doing this on a cutting board because we'll be able to transfer this to the shelf. Yep. We're going to use the two spatula method. Right. And uh, we're just going to get this done. All right. So Yoder is at... 325. We're doing a 325. It'll probably take about an hour and a half to do this. Get it up to 165 internal temp. Um, I got a mesquite, uh, some mesquite pellets going in the smoker tube. We're going to pull off the shelf. And we're going to go top shelf. <laughs> One is on. This smoked meatloaf is smelling amazing. It is, yeah. Uh, we really took good. a peek in there just minutes ago. It's looking awesome. There's one last thing that we like to do. Uh, it's gotten up to about 140 degrees. You know, we still got those last 20 degrees to go. That's right. Um, I like to add the glaze now. It's a good time to put the glaze on. So I'm gonna use uh, maybe half, yeah, about a full cup. Yeah, a little less. Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Catch up. And then a good smack of daddle do here of the uh, brown sugar. That looks about a half cup to me. Smack of daddle do, half cup. Smack of daddle do. Get that going. Incorporate the two. You know what? Another little smack of daddle will do. Double smack of daddle. I couldn't even say that. I think that looks just about right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get that nice and sweet and tangy. Let's get this onto the meatloaf. Perfect. So the glaze is on. And as they now say, smack a lad will do, will do you. Smack a lad will do, will do you. Let it get up to about 160. Take that bad boy off, let it rest for a bit. 165. It's eating time. Eating time. The meatloaf is up to 164.2 degrees. 
and they're looking suck man. Yeah, time to get these things off. Let's take a look. Oh, happy day. Let's do this. Thank you, John. Got that. All right. Yeah. All right, Chris. <laughs> you know I want an end piece. <laughs> We're gonna just hop right in? Yeah, let's do it. No waiting? Let's take a look. Oh, marron. A little smoke ring on there. Me cheers. Me cheers. Mm. Moist. It's so moist though. The sweetness from the sauce, the glaze, I mean, it's just really good. Brown sugar, taste of tomato. Um, oh God, that's got great flavor. Mm. Not too much smoke. Nope. You know, I'm always afraid that ground beef is just gonna suck up so much smoke and it's gonna taste like a cigar, but it's, yeah. it's good. Part of doing it at 325, let me know the piece. Is to not let that thing smoke and get too, too smoky. You know, you can do it at 225, but it'd take you four hours. How long does it take us, John? Uh, it's about two hours. Two hours? If you like what you see, you want to give it a shot, let us know how you make out. And give us a thumbs up if you please. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. So much, man. Mm.